Now, like I've always said it, I'm not against SEALs, I'm against fucked up dudes. And it just happens to be that majority of the fucking dudes out there that are representing that brand are fucked up. It is what it is, guys. There are some military operations involving SEALs that have been turned into heroic tales, and in the reality, what they were were catastrophic failures from soup to nuts. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. You know what? Shout out to Andy for speaking about this, right? Andy, I know I still owe you a podcast. I promise I'll make it out there to Montana eventually and have a sit down with you. And then we can uh, um, have a discourse, right? Um, but yeah, guys, I can name on a uh, single hand the amount of seals that I actually respect in the uh, social media realm. And Andy's definitely one of them uh, because of what he just said, right? Um, he's actually one of the few that has uh, spoken about this as far as realizing that, wait a minute, man, like there are a lot of SEALs out here that are talking about these operations and glorifying failure, which is exactly what those operations were to make themselves look like a badass, right? And I've always had a problem with that. I've always had a bone to pick with those dudes because especially being in the mentorship space, I feel those phone calls every day, guys. I'm not just out here talking out of my ass. I speak to these young men every day. Day and they watch the movies and they hear the podcast and they see those dudes and they think that's the norm and that's dangerous that's dangerous because those guys are going to go to the SEAL team they're going to go to these other units and they're going to think that what that individual did during that failure is okay whether it's you know a self perseverance or whether it is um lying about your actions doing a particular raid these young guys are influential and they're going to hold on to every single word that these guys say. And unless somebody raised their hand and say, hey, wait a minute. No, that was a fell operation. Like, we're messed up. That should not be glorified. That should not be in the spotlight as being a successful operation. These were fucked up ops. Right. And we should not be praising those guys unless somebody says that. Then those guys are going to think that's cool, man. That's just the generation that we're in. That's just the space that we're in. So hats off to Andy for publicly admitting this and talking about it, because I do think more people from that community needs to say that. Right. Because a lot of dudes will fall back on the community. You know, the brotherhood is strong. You know, you're not supposed to talk about each other in this space well dude this is the arena that we're in we're in the social media arena we're in the influencing young mind arena right and if no one says anything then that's being viewed as you know what that's acceptable behavior that's acceptable ttp and it's not right you don't go in a hop and not do certain thing and then come out and say you did it and everybody within that community knows knows that to be false yet they don't say anything all that's doing is enabling that guy to keep doing the same thing and it's enabling others behind him to say and do the same thing because no one is speaking out against it because of the community right like if anything that makes that community look bad right let's hear what else andy has to say but everybody views them as this is the most amazing glorious thing it's like no that's actually not the case all right so what are some examples guys let me know in the comment section below all right the number one thing that comes to mind for me is lone survivor right where you were the only guy that survived out of the four dudes that were there and allegedly when you got picked up you still had all your magazines on you fully jammed all the rounds are in there right and you were not injured like you said you were right allegedly um yet you are out here uh talking about team never quit you know like and then selling that story and getting rich off of it while everybody else um you know is not alive to say that part right i've spoken about this at length right if that was me dude i would be on no rock somewhere because at the end of the day three of my closest teammates died right and i'm fucking pissed off that i didn't get a warrior's death and went with them but again that's just my two cents Let's hear what else. And I think the community would be better for it if they change that. I couldn't agree with you more. And I think you're one of the more outspoken 
and candidly honest seals out there. I'm paying you a compliment. It's, it'll be the only compliment of this this whole thing. So. Well, I'm gonna cut you right now because I'm not a seal anymore, Mike. <laughs> there are yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no longer a Green Beret, guys. I'm just a citizen, right? That is very, very cautious and that is very, very um attentive to what the next generation of warfighters will look like. Right? That's the mission statement over here on Green Beret Chronicles is to coach, teach, and mentor the next generation of special operation fighters. And in order to do that effectively, you have to have these hard conversations, right? Um, and again, it's not about, you know, ducking on these dudes. It's, 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 it's about, you know, calling out fucked up shit. Like I've always said it, I'm not against seals. I'm against fucked up dudes. And it just happens to be that majority of the fucking dudes out there that are representing that brand are fucked up. It is what it is, guys. So again, hats off to Andy for talking about this and actually shedding light on this. Because again, I'm sure there are good fucking dudes within that unit that are doing God's work. However, in the arena that we in, in the day that we currently live in, all the fucked up shit that is out there could easily shadow what that unit is actually doing right because at the end of the day the face of that brand are those fucked up dudes right is it fair no but guess what nothing in life is right so um it's gonna take people like andy that are standout dudes to come on social media the space the arena that this is taking place and saying you know what this is wrong this shouldn't be happening this is not where we're at. This is not what we're about. This needs to change, etc. Guys like Eric, guys like Andy, and whoever else is willing to take on that fight. That's what it's going to take. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. I saw this clip for the first time and I was like, yes, here we go. Let's get this ball rolling, right? Guys, I appreciate you guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves.